Okay, uh, for chapter 8, chapter 8 is, uh, title is Rock Mass. Okay, Rock Mass. What is Rock Mass? Rock Mass means, uh, we have, for example, we have ex uh, slope exposed like this. So, if any, uh, you can see this outcrop. This is outcrop, eh? granite outcrop. We have seen here, cheese outcrop. Cheese is a type of igneous uh, metamorphic rock. So, this is... Uh, we call that rock mass. So, which is uh, oh, in terms of volume, is a larger volume lah compared to the uh, intact rock. In contrast, yeah, intact rock. Intact rock, we are discussed on chapter number 7, which is we tested the rock, rock sample. And rock, this rock sample, we call that rock, intact rock. Yeah, small, small size of samples. But if you're talking with rock mass, is the uh, volume of uh, sample is larger and then the uh, a lot of issue on that rock mass lah. for example like this this is uh, our rock slope this rock slope uh, the stability of this rock slope is not only influenced by this single for example we take this sample small sample like this we do the testing for the strength test uh, in terms of is it represent the whole slope? Uh, this is the big questions that uh, engineer uh, have to think. So, for example, like this, you can see here in one slope you can see igneous granite rock, uh, rocks and the schist metamorphic in the same in this, uh, at the same locations. Uh, this uh, location is very special because that's why I take the picture. This uh this outcrop mm, yeah this is a boundary between two type of rock which is igneous from magma and uh, intruded to this uh, sedimentary rock then sedimentary rock change to schist and this location at the Poslim uh, road from Poslim to Cameron Highland Kamuraja okay yeah, I think a kilometer thirty five around thirty five kilometer uh, kilometer thirty five from Simbampulai. Uh, this is a example of rock slope failure. If you think that rock is a behavior like a concrete, you are wrong. Since uh, concrete, we can make a wall 90 degrees like a building, a vertical building. But in rocks, you are in terms of the uh, deep angle or inclination of this uh, slope, you have to. Uh, the, the rock is influenced by the and the uh, by this uh, discontinuity, discontinuity pattern okay so uh, yeah this is uh, the one of example slope failure at this uh, North Klang Valley Expressway which is you know this is toward the Ipo this one this way toward to the Damansara Tolls okay this is uh, happened in 2000, I think 2002 or 2001. Okay, long time. So now what's the remediation? Uh, when you drive through this road, you can see this loop now, they are remediated by uh, reducing this uh, inclination, deep angle of the slope. Huh? This is the way how we are uh, remediated the slope by uh, reducing the angle, deep angle. Okay. When we reduce the angle, so the possibility of this uh, whether pana or auto wage it can be reduced. Yeah, okay. Uh, maybe you can uh, you ask why you did not uh, design uh, uh, gentle slope, so uh, so they can reduce the possibility of failure. Okay. For information, this is a rocks a rock uh, in rock. Normally, they try to minimize the excavation volume because the excavation volume in rock is very expensive. And normally, it's uh, triples or uh, triple time the price, uh, up to uh, four times um, excavation price in earth or uh, in earth material. Uh, soil and rock is very different. So they try to minimize the cost, so that's why they try to limit the excavation volume. We are uh, make it the slope angle is very steep. 
okay, as deep as possible. But they have to consider a consideration that should be should be made is the discontinuity pattern. Uh, that's what why in our lab four we are we are uh, discuss on that uh, matter. So this is a uh, introduction for this chapter four. This chapter not chapter eight. Chapter eight is I think is very important for engineer uh, to understand these uh, rocks. Since this is uh, rock mass is uh, rock mass is not uh, practiced in soil uh, soil analysis for slope analysis they not practice like this but in rock normally they, we have do this practice since we are not we not only look on the single samples uh, since you know this rock is very heterogeneous we have our joint discontinuities all these things influence the strength. So that's why in normally in soil we just base based on this uh, sampling, but in soil since the sample is very small fractions, so compared to volume of rock mass, so the, how is this uh, sample can represent the whole slope? Eh? So this why do we have major deficiencies of laboratory specimens uh, because we are very selective samples. Uh, and then resulted the bias lah on in term of sampling. So um, how this uh, result can be used to estimate the properties? You know? That's why uh, they we ask. Is it can use only the uh, strength of rock to design the slope? Uh, the, for example, the slope lah. Uh, it's not enough lah in term just for the uh, strength. Eh? Shear strength is not enough. So uh, that's why engineers uh, recommended to to develop they develop this uh, rock mass classification system. This rock, uh, rock mass classification system uh, they consider a few parameters. Okay, uh, for example, we have a, a, lot, a few actually many type of rock mass classification system, but for English speaking country. Uh, uh, normally, young Europe, uh, normally Europe, uh, or Australia, they use this. Normally, they use this uh, technique called the RMR system. Uh, they developed uh, 1974 or Q system um, by button in 1974. But they already upgrade this uh, technique. Uh, until now, they are upgrading their system to. Uh, to make that suitable to the current situation so let me stop here i